500 subscribers. Think about that. 500 subscribers. I don't even think I could fit 500 people in my house. You guys wanna, you guys wanna test that theory? I can give you my address. See, my address is 500 subscribers. Yes, I had to add that sound effect in because this one does not actually do the thing. So y'all don't understand how real I actually am. Like, I keep it real when it comes to the edits that I make. Because I could have just let you believe that it was actually making the, the sound. But it's not. It's, it's one of those. It's one of the boring ones. I didn't know that when I bought it. But, I mean, it's fine. I genuinely didn't know what I wanted to say when I started this video. I kind of thought about it from the moment that I woke up to the moment that I started recording this. And I still don't even know what to say. I mean, thank you. There are hundreds of you who I don't even know. And you don't even know me. The only context that you have of who I am is through the videos that you watch. And I try to be my most authentic self that I possibly can be when I record these videos. I try to be my most authentic self when i'm i'm playing games making jokes talking with you as i am right now it's to have reached a major milestone like 500 and that may not seem like a lot to a lot of people that's a lot to me for 500 to be such a big milestone for me and to actually get there and to know that this is just the beginning we are going to we're going to keep climbing this is mount everest baby YouTube is the Mount Everest of social media, and I may not may not reach the top, but I'm going to get as far as I can with as many of you as I possibly can. We as a family, we as a community are going to make it as high as we can up this Mount Everest of YouTube. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to get there. I'm excited to plant that flag and call that our little spot in this sea of content, sea of gamers, sea of uh, makeup tutorials, sea of vloggers, challenge videos. There's so much content on YouTube. I'm not gonna go too much into how I've been feeling this year in 2024 as a content creator, because I actually have something planned in June as part of like a part two to my grind 2020 more hashtag thing that I had in January it's like just just wait on it I'm actually excited to have that video go up with where I have been at recently as far as a content creator I have felt so proud of myself and so thankful for all of you who not only watch the videos but also comment yeah. audience interaction was one of the biggest things that I wanted out of my channel this year and I have received so much of that so many comments of people telling me that you know they appreciate watching what I do there was conversation amongst some people in the comments about a game that I had played and <laughs> that was so exciting to see I love watching people interact in the comments because that's what it's there for I love watching the the community grow and for all of us to just I talked with one of you about my thoughts on the ending of At Dead of Night. And it was a short, brief conversation, but how often do you get to have a conversation with somebody you don't really know about a game that you can enjoy as, as a community, as family, basically? It was very exciting. It's very exciting. And I may not always make banger videos. I think there have been times you guys have made that very clear. I don't, I'm not here to please the algorithm. I'm not here to please everybody because I know that's not what I'm going to do. I know that's not what I'm going to be able to do. I have been doing my own thing. I've been on my Miles Morales shit. I've been doing my own thing. I have this vision in my head of what I want to do as a content creator, where I want to be as a gaming YouTuber, and the kind of games that I want to play. In this drought 
uh, the beginning of the year of 2024, there have been really no good games. But because you guys have reached out to me with your suggestions of games that I should play, like suggestions to play at dead of night, I had suggestions to play games I had never even heard of. And because Slay the Spire 2 was announced, I myself thought this is a perfect opportunity for me to play Slay the Spire 1. I'd never played it. I really want to play Slay the Spire 2. I didn't even know that there was really, I guess, a story to the game. There's like acts, there's four acts in the game. I mean, I guess you could call it a story, whatever. But I thought it was kind of just, you know, you play until you lose. But that was on my own terms. I didn't even think that that game was going to get any traction. But the two videos that I have posted of Slay the Spire, you guys have shown so much love to. I don't, I don't know what to say half the time because sitting at 500 subscribers, like I said, to most people seems like a pinch of salt. But with the kind of interaction with you guys that I have had this year and with the comments from people who just checked out the video and wanted to, you know, share their thoughts but didn't actually want to subscribe. Even that makes me feel a million times like on top of the world. I get in these moods sometimes where I have a rough time with life in general and then to feed into that negative energy, I'll look at my like activity on a video or my subscriber count and I'll think, man, I haven't really seen any growth in the last couple of days is it really worth it anymore is it really is this going to be something that i can make a career one day is this going to be something that i can actually continue to enjoy and do and i have to pull myself out of that rut because especially after after this major milestone the first and not last major milestone that we just reached it's only up from here i'm we are only gonna grow as a family from here you know i wasn't actually gonna make this video i was going to reach 500 and then i was going to maybe drop like a little post on youtube about my live stream that i had planned for this weekend and then just do my regularly scheduled videos up until the weekend when i could actually live stream but I couldn't just not say anything to you guys. I could not just not thank you for where we are because I can make content all day. I could post videos one after another. I can put my heart and soul into these thumbnails and into these edits and these videos and just, <laughs> I can mesh. I can mesh them all together, but the kind of content that I make and the things that I do and how I present myself as a person and how I present my work would be nothing without you guys. It's kind of a contradicting saying because on one hand, I am doing the things that I love regardless of who's watching, regardless of how many people are watching. And I'm enjoying myself. Like I said, it's contradicting because on the other hand, I feel like without the small amount of people who do comment and without the small amount of people who do like uh, and watch the videos and tell me their thoughts, I wouldn't really have the motivation to do this. But the idea of having those conversations about my thoughts on games and watching people within the community having conversations amongst themselves that is motivation that is my drive my power and it's all thanks to you i would not be here without you taking the time out of your day to subscribe and watch a video whenever I upload, whenever you have the time to watch the video. One of my favorite things growing up uh, in this in this era of social media, when I was in middle school and in high school, 
I would absolutely love the feeling of getting that notification on my phone that one of my favorite YouTubers had just uploaded a video and it was always around the same time every day because that's kind of how the algorithm works. <laughs> it's shameless to say that there is still an algorithm that needs to be met, not necessarily pleased, but met, which is why I post my videos when I do because I feel like that's the best time. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure all that shit out. You can tell I really don't know what I'm doing here sometimes. But I would get those notifications at almost 30 minutes, an hour before I would get out of school. And I would go home. I would not do my homework. Don't tell my mom. Make me like a bowl of ramen or something to eat as like a little snack after school kind of thing. Because I had lunch maybe six hours before. They'd be starving me sometimes. School starve kids. And then just watch 20, 30 minutes, maybe even an hour of my favorite YouTuber playing a game or doing like a little challenge video. And that gave me something to look forward to every single day. And ever since I was in the sixth grade, 11, 12 year old Christian Green, he had this passion, had this, this love, the idea of doing the same thing for other people, just doing what he loved. I love video games. I love watching people play video games. I could do this. And here I am. I'm doing it in what I feel is like a professional way. I have a nice setup. I am very happy with my setup right now. I don't need 17 monitors. I have two, and that feels like too much sometimes, but it works. I have my little ring light. I have my background, which by the way, thank you for 500. Oh, it's got a little party hat on it too. <laughs> I put a little party hat. But going back to that 11, 12 year old boy who loved coming home to watch his favorite YouTubers doing things, even if it was for a short 15, 20 minutes. It inspires me. It inspired me. And now we are here at 501, actually. If, if my math is correct, at 501, uh, we stand. So I don't want to, I don't want to forget about that one. You know, 500 is great. We should be celebrating 501. Listen, when I hit 500, I wanted to actually wait a couple of days to make sure that, you know, it would remain up there because then I didn't want to make this video and then it'd be like wow you know <laughs> I don't know I like to I like to celebrate the little things I like to celebrate the big things I did a whole photo shoot this morning and put it up on Instagram the balloons are actually still sitting over here you can probably see it in the corner the little zero um, yeah one of them fell down it's on the floor but damn it now I gotta readjust my camera I'm going to wrap this up soon because I really didn't want to take up too much of your time. I know I have a habit of when I do these kind of videos that I overextend them to like 25, 30 minutes as if I'm playing a game, but I really just have a lot to say. I just, I love talking. I'm such an extroverted person. If that was not obvious from the 192, I think this would make 192 videos on this channel. If that wasn't obvious, I'm, I'm a pretty extroverted person. You know what I'm saying? If you see me in person, you see me out in public, don't hesitate to come up to you, boy. Okay, anyway. Did a whole photo shoot on Instagram. Go check that out. I usually don't plug my Instagram or my Twitter or any of my other socials. But go check it out. I had a lot of fun with those photo shoots. It was fun. I want to end this off by saying that you guys are my motivation. You are my inspiration. You help me push through every single video. You are the reason that I keep a consistent upload schedule. It is something that I want to continue to do. And it's something that I want us as a community to continue to strive at is just growing. Spread the word. Let people know. I always get so many comments of people like, you're so underrated. You should have more subscribers. Let's spread the word. Let's, let's bring some people in. Um, this weekend, I do plan to go live just to celebrate. So if you want to pull through, 
I am thinking Saturday, Saturday is the day that keeps ringing through my head, Saturday at noon, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I don't know what that is, that would be like 9 a.m. over on the West Coast. <laughs> I'll probably set up a, like a notification thing or like I'll schedule the live stream so that you guys are, so that you can notify yourselves. But I definitely do want to do a live stream because that would be so much fun. I have so many ideas for what we would do. We just chill, talk, play some games. This is the first milestone for the milestone headpiece. Very washed out right now because of the ring light. But I did a whole video on what I want to do for this. At every milestone, we're going to decorate or destroy meaning that we'll decorate by adding some little lipstick to them. We'll decorate the hat. It's got sections that we can decorate. We'll destroy it by maybe singeing the chin or, I don't know, cutting off a piece of his nose. But I leave that up for you guys to decide, and we just have fun with this thing. At When we look back at this, at, let's say, I'm just ballparking a number for the future, a million subscribers, Look back at that thing and it's going to be a horrendous mess because we as a family decided that we were going to destroy and or decorate. This is only the beginning. And with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out. Thank you. For 500 subscribers.